Putterman's technique is a relatively quick method of posterior ptosis surgery. It is often used for mild ptosis with good levator function and typically maintains a good lid contour postoperatively. Dermal anesthetic has already been instilled. A 4-0 silk traction suture is placed into the grey line of the upper lid and the lid is everted over a Damar retractor. 1 mL of additional subconjunctival anesthetic of bupivacaine 0.5% with 1 in 200,000 adrenaline is injected. The additional bolus further improves local anesthesia. It is easier for the surgeon to instill the bolus once the lid is averted and it is less painful for the patient after the initial dermal local anesthetic has had time to take effect. A 6-0 silk traction suture is placed through the conjunctiva and Muller's muscle about 6 to 7 millimeters above the superior tarsal border medially and laterally. Muller's muscle is firmly adherent to conjunctiva and only loosely attached to the levator aponeurosis. Therefore, tightening this traction suture should enable the desired amount of conjunctival Muller's to be excised with minimal or no levator aponeurosis. The desired height of resection is measured with calipers and an example algorithm will be discussed later in the video. A Putterman's clamp is placed with one blade positioned above the superior tarsal border and the other blade engaging the traction suture. It may be possible to use curved artery forceps instead if Putterman's clamp is not available. The Damar retractor is removed. A 6-0 monochrome mattress suture is placed, starting laterally and externally at the skin crease before being brought forward through to the conjunctival surface. The suture runs in a lateral to medial direction with each bite placed around 1 to 2 mm apart. Each suture passes through conjunctiva and upper tarsus about 1 to 2 mm distal to the clamp on one side before emerging on the other side through Muller muscle and conjunctiva and vice versa. We used a monofilament suture which can be easily pulled through during removal but can also be left to dissolve instead if desirable. Putterman originally described using 5 o double armed plain cat gut for the mattress suture. Several formulae exist to calculate the amount of desired resection based on the phenylephrine test. Putterman and Fett described carrying out an 8.5mm resection if 10% phenylephrine raises the lid to exactly the desired height, adding or subtracting 1mm resection for every 0.5mm of desired increased or decreased lid height up to a range of 6.5 to 9.5 mm. However, Putman indicates that an 8 mm resection will relieve the ptosis in most cases. The suture is brought out medially and externally through the skin crease. The clamp is released. Westcott spring scissors are used to excise the Muller's conjunctival complex, taking great care not to cut through the mattress suture. The grey line 4 silk suture is removed. The ends of the mattress suture are tied either to skin or the ends can be secured with Steri-Strip. The phenylephrine test is used preoperatively to predict the final postoperative upper lid height. There is considerable variation in how the test is performed and the strength of phenylephrine use in the literature. However, in practice, this difference appears to have little effect on the calculation of the amount of desired resection.